Yeah, and uh, we've been talking about, of course, Akner and Blaze. They don't really need any introduction. On the other side, though, we have Kixay, Kixay, Kixay and Bamya coming out to play here. Uh, of course, probably pretty surprised that they have to fight Akner and Blaze right now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll see how they do. Uh, I'm, I'm sure they're very surprised. Um, and they've had some time to sit and kind of contemplate this set. Um, both these teams have been sitting here for a while, waiting on stream, waiting on their turn. Um, so they, like I said, they've had a lot of time to really think about this and try to figure out how they were going to approach this game. Pixie going to get stuck in a combo by Akno real quick, and it looks like Akno is just hunting for sidelights right now on the ground. Still quite evened out that damage all across the board right now. Bamya hit with that dare though, might get knocked out here off stage as both of them are on the same side. Blaze finds that end sig. This should be it for Bamya. Yeah, um, whoa, nice dodge through that weapon throw. Um, gonna get a recovery, come back up on stage. That double recovery, that last one unarmed is gonna get it done. And now Blue has that 2v1 opportunity to put some pressure on Akaya off that left side. Dude, Akira and Blaze playing so well right now. Kicks and Balmya, they need to find these knockouts right now if they want to have a working ch chance in this game here. Balmya with the lance looking for these aerials, but Blaze is gatekeeping him, keeping him knocked out. <laughs> onto the offstage, just hitting him time and time again with that axe. But Blaze didn't oh. touch, he's actually going out there. Self-destruct. That, that was an insane dodge um, from Akno. Put himself in a really good position. Um, maybe could have turned up a little more from that, but still a really good play from Akno. Now Bamya. Looking for some aerials, but Blaze able to find that Sair though. Sneaking it in. Both Bamya and Kixay very, very damaged here. Looking good. Kicks a trying to get something going with this axe. Matching Blaze's movements. Come back on stage. Gonna pick up with a little dare, but Blaze is there to put some damage on him. Go over, clean up the stock, and come back to capitalize on this 2v1. I can be able to find that recovery on the way back up. Still, Ami and Kixay definitely have a working chance in this game if they are able to find one knockout here. And Kixay is going for a massive commitment onto Blaze, Ooh. and Blaze is going to be able to return the favor. That's going to be Kixay down on their last dock as well. Ami and Kixay, their hope is slowly fading away here for this first game, slow mo. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're playing at no Blaze. I mean, this is. This is so rough for any team in this bracket right now. Um, this would be a hard game to go up against. Um, and now we're going to see this 2v1 situation kind of unfold. Off stage, Big Say going to get that nice ground pound work in there and then put some pressure over on Blaze. Blaze is going to put it right back in, though. In, and now Acto and Blaze are going to try and set up this 2v1 Big Say. Wait a second. Wait a second, able to find one knockout. Akno stuck in that 1v1 is going to be very careful, waiting for Blaze to respawn. Kixay, man, it's going to be so hard to win this, but he's definitely not giving up. Blaze finding the side light, the dare now. There's maybe one Sig or one good combo, and this is going to be over for Kixay. Absolutely. Oh no, but he's doing a really good job moving through this uh, attack from. I thought it would be over by now. Yeah. I did too. Yeah. He was. He was definitely smoothing. Um, it just. I mean, was such a, such a deficit. Um, had uh, so much to come back from, and um, Kixay and Abanya definitely gonna have to uh, get a little more in sync going into this game number two. And one thing I've been seeing all throughout. I mean, not really this tournament, but all throughout 2023. Uh, I saw also Sparky mentioned it on the pre-show. Uh, ever since Akron and Blaze have had way more competition in 2v2, they have started practicing way more, and you can definitely tell by how well Blaze is playing right now. I mean, you look at that guy, you, you literally take a look at, like, what are the... What are the teams in EU right now in 2v2 with the most ELO? And like the top 50, the first page, eight of those teams Blaze is in. <laughs> he's been playing so much and he's improving, man. I mean, but the 2v2 competition has just really been heating up this year, period. Like I'm, every region, not just EU. I mean, and we were talking before, you know, before our block, you know, we we're kind of talking about each other's predictions and whatnot. And I mean, you called it. He's like, you know, here's first, here's second, but the hell if I know who's going to be third. I mean, it could be anybody. It could be absolutely anybody. And that's just kind of the feel when it comes to all these regions right now. There's so many new names um, with the meta changing and the teams changing. You really never know who is going to have those breakout performances. Um, you never know when Akno and Blaze are going to be fighting for top eight elimination side. I mean, it's just, it's esports, man. You never know what's going to happen. 
We are definitely moving into a new age of Brawlhalla and Actino Blaze. I mean, Actino Blaze being an elimination side before top eight, I mean, that's that's probably the best example you could show that we are moving into a new age of European 2v2 at least. Uh, but Blaze and Actino, they are doing very well so far in this set, and they do indeed have a lead here already in the second game. Amya now stuck off stage against Akno. They're not able to find that knockout, but Kixay is already on a second stock. Yeah, he is in there he's not doing a really good job racking up any damage. I mean he's it'd be one thing if he was putting out what he was taking, but he's kind of getting juggled around here. Oh, Akno gonna go ahead and just put his teammate out of the way. He's like, no, I got this one. I'm uh, just throwing Blaze up that top right corner. Uh, Bamya though, trying to get in here with the slants, but not being able to find too much momentum off of it. Akno able to find the D-Light Sayer with the extra Sayer on his way out as well. Still clinging on to this first stock that he has. Amya and Kixay, they do have a quick 2v1 against Blaze, but they're not able to find any massive damage coming out of it. Or they're trying to use that platform, trying to stay light on his feet. But you got you gotta attack, you gotta do something, Bamya. His, his, his teammates just hit a 2v1 situation and Bob is just kind of just hanging out behind. Like, should I, should I, I He did now? get the knockout. Yeah, I mean, he did yeah, get the knockout, so I mean... <laughs> but just definitely hesitating on trying to uh, take some of that pressure off of his teammate. Now Bamiya in that 2v1 situation, kicks A coming back down, got the boots laced up. Sea Leaf's going to be able to do it, take some of this pressure, maybe bring back some of this deficit. Acto and Blaze are looking Acto. pretty good. Dude, that GC sidelight into recovery that he threw out as a wake up. I don't, I don't think I get to see that too often on the spear, man. Akno going absolutely crazy right now, finding a lot of damage onto Bamiya and Kixay. Recovery is not going to be enough to knock out just yet, though. Bamiya and Kixay, they need to find a knockout right now. Uh, well, they found a knockout. It just unfortunately it was on themselves. Um, Abamia now on his final stop. Lance that could be it for Kick oh, oh, that was a good Sayer. Nice ground pound. It's okay, fine. I see you. I oh see my you. god. Okay. How did Kick say make it out of that, dude? Uh, Bamia came in clutch, took all the pressure off of him, was able to rack up some good damage. And, and now that dare coming off, Blaze might be in trouble. Oh my, he undershot it. And now, oh, he might be in big trouble. Blaze came in a little shallow on uh, that guy with the D-Light. Um, no one's in trouble. We're uh, fine. No one is in trouble. <laughs> now, quick 2v1 against Akno here. Not able to find the starting move to get a combo started. Still fairly even out across the board, but Kixay is going to be going out, and now it's a 1v2. This time around, it's Vamya that is going to have to do the 1v2. And he's not going to do it very oh, well, unfortunately. Akno and Blaze are just cruising through this set. Um, looked really good there. Um, and now they're just one game away from breaking into that top eight. Um, they've had a they've had a had a rough day. Got sent down here um, by getting um, shut out on the winner side for their um, their last set. And definitely trying to make that rally down here. Um, so far, so good. I mean, also definitely Akno stepping up his game, playing super, super well this time around, finding so much damage onto Bamiya and Kekse. And uh, yeah, I think you mentioned in the beginning of the game that Bamiya is having a little hard, a uh, little bit of a hard time supporting Kekse in a lot of these situations, which, which I think is a uh, very good point that you had because Kekse is definitely aggressing a lot more. They have that kind of dyna dynamic where Kekse is on the front line and then Bamiya is trying to help him out, but maybe falling short every once in a while. We do have another legend swap coming out from Kekse, and I know, I know that. Queen and I has been on everyone's lips, especially in Europe, for the past two weeks. That looks like Kixi is cooking slow mo. Yeah, yeah, we were talking. You and I were talking about it last week. I mean, just with the way Spear and Katara's is right now, like, when are we gonna start seeing people trying to pull out the nine? And here it is. Of course, it's EU. It makes sense. See if it's gonna be enough. But we talk about Banya. I mean, he did. He was doing a better job supporting um, Kixi towards the end of that game. Um, he definitely uh, did start to turn it up a little bit, see if he's going to be able to carry that through game number three. Also got to keep in mind that Kixi is like one of the OG GOATs when it comes to yeah. like European Qatars. So this guy, you know, he definitely knows what he's doing on these daggers. And so far, they are looking at an early lead. They still have, they both still have their first stock in motion here and they have found these knockouts. They're playing super well so far, Slomo. 
Certainly, certainly are. They're still holding on to those first stocks too. That's really, imp oh, he shut down that uh, signature coming down from Blaze and able to still stay strong off stage. Get a nice little nair in there. Uh, the stock is gonna fall, but they're still holding on to that slight lead. But look at Blaze's second stock. And also actively starting to get into orange as well. And I mean, they already have so much damage, and I'm also looking at Kixay's health, and I'm wondering how has Akno and Blaze not managed to knock this guy out yet? He is going to be going out from that Akno, from Akno's recovery onto the spear, and now, as you mentioned, they do have that comfortable lead. Their first stock was absolutely amazing. Let's see if they're able to keep that up. Yeah, it was. They, they came out absolutely swinging, but we've seen what Akno and Blaze can do. Um, they are a very disciplined, very established team. And they, they know what they got to do. They, they know how to switch it up. They know how to change their uh, their pace and be able to stock these tanks, bring back this deficit. It's just a matter if they're going to have enough time to do it. Oh, Akno getting set off that top a left corner. That is unfortunate. Um, yeah. Is going to eat a Seraph from Blaze's Axe and some extra aerials on top of that. Akno also committing hard onto him, but Bamiya is able to get a little bit of a response there with that Lance. They still have that extra stock to play with that Kixay has. Bamiya just has to be maybe a little bit careful. They get the knockout and they're in that 2v1 now, slow mo. I mean, if anybody can do it, it is Akno, but this is a very bad situation to be in. Missing off of that signature from the Queen Nine. Letting Akno get back up. Oh, are you kidding me? That helps him out a little bit. But taking Bamiya? all... Bamiya? Bamiya? Okay, okay, okay. I, I got really worried there for a moment because Bamiya is so low here. Should be waiting for Kixay to spawn back in. But it looks like they're going to be fine either way. And they have got a game, slow-mo. That's awesome. I didn't expect it to be awesome, uh, to be uh, perfectly honest. I mean, um, Agno and Blaze were just kind of seen to be on autopilot. They were just cruising through this set. But... Red team was able to pull it around and be able to go ahead and clutch that game and set us up for a game number four. I'm not complaining. I'm definitely not complaining either. And all the respect to Akron and Blaze, these guys are the goats. Uh, but I did uh, see someone in the chat say that, uh, uh, I mean, earlier uh, on the mainstream, I saw someone in chat say that if Spyrox Urbador uh, can take down Akron and Blaze, then, you know, maybe, maybe Kicks and Bomb, you have a working chance. I mean, that's not bad logic, to be perfectly honest. But, you know, that's how we talked about the beginning, you know, what, what's the reason? How, how did we get to here? What is the story that led Acto and Blaze to coming down here and having to fight for their existence um, this, um, this early in the bracket? Nice down. Okay. Fighting some team conversions there, building up some of that damage, but Blaze and Acno, they're still looking pretty comfortable here on their first docks. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure last game was a bit of a wake up for them. Um, I definitely don't want to see this set um, get pulled away from him. I'm missing on that, that ground pound, but still pushing it off stage. An arm, going to catch a stair for it. I cannot go in high for that recovery. Kixay able to sneak in a Qatar stair, though. Able to connect that D Sig, and we are still all players broad on our first stocks. Bamiya is going to be the first one to drop out. Kixay is able to get out of that offstage situation, though. Yeah, I cannot believe they're still holding on. Well, everybody's holding on to those first stocks except Bombia. Everybody being taken down deep, deep red. A minute in, and a blue team loses their first stock. Bombia able to get that sidelight Sierra in, though. Now, red team with a very, very fragile lead here with Kixay still on that first stock with the Katars in hand. Akno, a single bone there. I was going to say that's going to be it, but it's not going to be enough just oh, yet. Second one is going to do it. And Blaze and Akno now in such a good position to commit onto Bamiya. He's already orange, going into the deep orange. That's not yeah, very trying good. To, trying to play it out of here. Akno and Blaze. Blaze, we see him laying down at that edge guard, trying to give Akno room to get up here. Maybe distract Red Team a little bit, if you will. Nice Assayer coming off that bow, but he's going to take some damage from Kick's Ace Guitars. Akno able to find that D-Sig and Kixay following up off of Akno's friendly fire. Not able to get a knockout though. Akno going all the way down. Kixay looking for maybe a ground pump, but Blaze is going to be knocking him back up. Ooh, nice recovery. So much momentum off of that. Now they're going to try and get this 2v1, a power play here. But Akno just fighting tooth and nail and making sure he doesn't take any damage off of that well played. Amiya finding that double there, building up the damage. Kixay being close to getting knocked out now. 
Akino off stage. This could be massive, but Akino is going to be able to reverse it. This is a key moment right here. If he finds that knockout, but he's not able to do so. No, it be, kudos to him for being able to push those options. Every time he missed, he still um, it didn't hesitate. Kept fighting an arm, going right back over, picking up in that. Oh, that stare was just not quite extended enough. That pogo is gonna put some uh, put some pressure on him though. Another pogo coming up empty with a ground pound, and he's able to finally finish off that stock. It's going to be Balmya going down now. Kicks is stuck in this one v two. We've seen it before. He was doing an amazing job, but. Now that we're this deep into the set, mm. game four, Kixay, does he still have it in him to pull something crazy out? I don't know. He would have to do something amazing. I mean, they won't even let him get a weapon. That dare is probably going to go ahead and seal his fate, and it indeed does. But hey, man, that, that third game, I was really impressed that they were able to go ahead and take that dub. Um, it's always nice to see somebody put one on the scoreboard when you don't expect them to. Um, but unfortunately for them, their day is done. Their day is indeed done, and Akino and Blaze are going to be claiming.